What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me on JCTV Zimbabwe, your channel of choice. We do videos each and every day. Uh, and um, for the past one and a half week, we've been trying to give you videos each and every day. And it's our pleasure that we do that. But if you're new on this channel, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss out on all of our videos that we do. So there is, you know, a lot of conflicting statements from prophets and all these charlatans and the Inyangas and the witch doctors and all of these people concerning TB Joshua. So I'm going to look at a number of them and you see how conflicting they are. But at the end of the day, I want to tell you the reason why they are doing whatever they're doing. So Prophet Madungwe is saying that TB Joshua is, is, is well received in heaven. That's number one. Number two, uh, there is another prophet who said uh, that uh, they saw TB Joshua in heaven. Bushiri said he saw T.B. Joshua in heaven and uh, the other one said he killed him and uh, then there is another one who said I've seen a vision of T.B. Joshua in heaven. Then we have these guys from uh, Norway saying that they've seen T.B. Joshua in hell. Some they are saying they've seen T.B. Joshua in hell. Right. So I want to always, our yardstick is not anywhere else. We don't use premonitions or uh, emotions. We use the yardstick of the scripture. In all our analysis, we use the scripture. We don't want to deceive people by emotions because emotions is what has deceived a lot of people without going to the uh, to the to the book uh, in, for them to ascertain whether what is being said by the prophet is true. So let's just take a look at, at a number of individuals who died post resurrection of Jesus Christ. And see if there was anyone who confirmed that they were in heaven or they saw someone in heaven or something like that. Let's start with um, with Dorcas. Dorcas was raised uh, by Apostle Peter. And after a number of um, uh, believers who had come to Peter and they told him told him about the works that Dorcas was doing and all of that. But it's, just, it's I don't want to delve into that. He, she never narrated on how she went to heaven or what she saw in heaven or what she saw in hell. She just woke up and that's how the story ends. Let's look at the story of Stephen in the book of uh, Acts chapter 6, 7. We see Deacon Stephen. Deacon Stephen, he saw a vision of Jesus when he was now being stoned to death. That is, we don't hear him talking about the hell. And then we also have a, another another story of Paul. The Bible says that Paul, uh, when he was now narrating it in the book of um, of uh, of Second Corinthians, he said that I was this is stoned, I was shipwrecked, I was among false brethren, and a number of things. But we understand that Paul was stoned. And was left outside the city by the people thinking that they, he was dead. Right? Um, and then he comes to the book of Second um, uh, Corinthians. He says, when I come to the visions and dreams and visions, I want to tell you about a man uh, who was caught up in the third heaven. Whether in the body or in the in, 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 outside the body, I do not know. The Lord knoweth. So, my thinking is that probably when he was being stoned and he was left for the dead, probably that's when he made that vision. We don't know. But he did not elaborate when that vision happened. He just said this happened about 14 years ago. So, if you want to look at the timelines, you cannot tell when, when this happened. But anyway, that is not the issue. But we do not hear him talking about seeing someone in heaven or seeing someone in hell that he knew. He just said he was caught up in heaven and he was shown things that cannot be spoken, right? Which means that uh, once you get on the other side or once you get the opportunity to go on the other side, you are not allowed to speak what you see. So if you hear these people blabbering, hey, yeah, I saw in heaven, they are not speaking the truth. But then let's go to the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation we hear, John. John saw. He had a vision. 
and he was shown this vision by Jesus of what was going to happen, right? He was shown what was going to happen. But throughout the book of Revelation, there was no time where he was shown an individual that he could point out that I saw Moses, I saw Elijah. I saw. We understand that John was a Jew. And obviously he had the list of, of, of all the people that died before him. And he knew some of them. Now, his brother was also killed by Herod. He could have said that I saw J my brother John, my brother James, because he was killed in the book of Acts chapter 12. And John lived, I mean, for more, for I think more than 60 years or 70 years later. But he never said in the book, in the whole of the book of Revelation, that he saw one of his brothers. But the Bible says that he saw people that were, that were dead and that those who were alive, those were under the altar. There is no one. The moment that you, that the, the people die, the Bible says that they are imaginations or anything. There is no one who has been given that privilege to see or to tap into the life of someone who is dead. Check it in the scripture. There was no one who was given that privilege to go into heaven and see someone. There was no one. The only person who narrated to us the picture of heaven and hell, it was Jesus. Who narrated about the, the, the rich man and, 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 uh, and Lazarus. He is the only one who gave us a picture of what, and he said someone was sitting, uh, Lazarus was sitting at the bosom of Abraham. He's the only person who gave us a picture of what heaven is, is like and what is hell, hell like. So these premonitions or these hallucinations that people are having and saying that so and so is in heaven, so and so is in, 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 uh, or, uh, in hell. They are all premised on one thing. One thing and one thing alone. One thing that they want is one. They want you to worship the devil. How do they want you to worship the devil? Because let's give, for example, the person who is saying he saw something in, in, in someone in hell. They are trying to make sure that you, one, either be afraid and start to believe their message. You start to be afraid and start to believe, oh, I saw someone in hell. Oh, I saw T.B. Joshua in hell, so I should now st stop whatever I'm doing or following T.B. Joshua. Those who are trying to say, I saw T.B. Joshua in heaven, they are trying to say, oh, this man was so holy, so let me follow what T.B. Joshua was teaching and what this man is teaching so that I can find myself in heaven. So it, it's all premised on two things. They want you to fear you, fear them, and after fearing them, they are raising their name above the name of Jesus. That's how blasphemous this whole hogwash that people are giving us about T.B. Joshua's death and all this madungues and all of that. Some of them they are just hallucinations and uh, they are just premised on that on that on that fact and maybe just to wrap up this whole conversation i want to tell you that guys as the bible is very clear in john chapter 14 verse 1 to verse 6 right he says i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but through me and this is very clear in the sense that Jesus said, I'm going there to prepare a place for you so that where I am, you will be also. Right? In that sense, it is saying that all of us are going to appear on that great, great and dreadful day where we are going to appear before the Lord. All of us. And the Bible says he is going to put the sheep on the right side and the gods on the left side. This is the process that we are all waiting for. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews that it is appointed that one man to live and to die and they, they appear before the judgment seat of the Lord. So this is what is going to happen when the world is going to come to finally an end. We are all going to appear before him. So how are we going to appear before him? The Bible says that the death is going to release that they are those that are in him and the ones that are in paradise, they are going to be released and they come and they all appear before the Lord, right? And the earth will pass away, right? But his word, his word 
which is Jesus Christ, is not going to pass away. That is the time where are going, our spirits are going to meet, are going to stand before the Lord, and we are going to stand. We are not going to be standing on this earth. We are going to be standing in the in the realm of the spirit. Let me just conclude this by saying, uh, no one who died, even in the New Testament, even when John died, uh, when James died uh, in the book of Acts chapter 12, we didn't hear that the believers uh, were shown his vision when he was in, in heaven. We didn't hear that. So all this, as I said, all these hallucinations, they are all premised around one thing to say that people, they want you to believe their message so that you can follow them. That's all they want. They want you to believe their message to say they are the ones that have been sent from God. Let us follow them. But after that, you are also going to get lost. There is no one who has the power to bring anyone to heaven except Jesus. This thing that Madungo is saying, guys, Madungo is just actually a mental case that needs to be evaluated and, 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 and all of that. He is not from God. But anyway, I just thought I should give you this because a lot of hallucinations have been going around and people are thinking that they are actually prophesying. Actually, they are prophesying. And you should mark them and avoid them according to the scripture. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like and share this video. I'll see you on the next episode. It's your boy once again reminding you that rise Africa. The world is waiting for you.